Good day everyone, my name is John Benedict J. Estrella and we're about to tackle the Rodan's Dinner Incident. So we are group 8 with the members of Gabriel Tapispisan, Mariel Cañete, Adrian Santua, and Jim Lim. And me, Benedict Estrella. So, table of contents for this presentation is the introduction, the background, the prerequisite program, the HACCP system, the issues and the recommendations to be tackled in the following slides. So, introduction. We're about to tackle the importance of knowing the proper way to handle workplace in Rodan's eatery. To avoid hygiene issues, maintaining proper workplace hygiene is very essential for the health and well-being of employee, as well as the overall efficiency of any company or restaurant here in the Philippines. In this presentation, we will explore the significance of workplace hygiene and its impact or productivity and practical steps and ensure a clean and safe work environment, which is the HACCP system and the prerequisite program. So the first is, let's tell what is a prerequisite program? Practice, prerequisite program is the practices and conditions that is needed to prior and during implementation of the HACCP plan. That, that are essential for food safety. The second is the provided ba basic environmental and operating conditions necessary for production of safe, wholesome food. HACCP system. HACCP system. What is HACCP system? HACCP system is a regulation on typical day they need to make sure the meat are being cooked truly also the kitchen are clean and safe for food preparation and that items are being stored according to health codes. So they use the SIP HACCP and SIP HACCP are is a food safety software for keeping your businesses practices complaints. So you can address food safety issues before they spiral out of control and with meaningful reporting like the health check report. The picture you listed or dropped to show the proofs that it's not much of an information. Confidential was provided in the picture when it was investigated. It was ensured that the restaurant employees are kept for confidential reasons. So now we're at the prerequisite program, so we have listed a three bulletins here, which is the proper training of an employee, organize and well-maintained workplace or kitchen, and the proper disposal of used ingredients. So Gab will explain the proper training of an employee why he's listed in the prerequisite program here in the restaurant of Rodan's Dinner. So corrective actions, we're about, uh, investigating the case, what caused the plastic, and ensuring what the food, that the food ha illness won't happen again. We need this uh, corrective action to, to make an action that the illness or the, uh, the case won't happen again in case of things that, that, like the plastic seen in the caldereta. So here is the prerequisite program to talk all about the Rodan's Dinner. So we listed the three bulletins here which is the proper training of an employee, Organize and well maintain workplace or kitchen and proper disposal of used ingredients. So Gab here is about to explain why do we need a proper training of an employee here in Percusive Program. So proper training of an employee is important to avoid nor lessen the accident inside or outside the workplace. And organize and well maintain workplace or kitchen is to prevent misuse of ingredients and avoid mixing unnecessary items in the food and to ensure that the workplace is presentable. So proper disposal of used ingredients, we need the, uh, it's also similar to here in organize and well maintain workplace or kitchen because we need to know the importance of proper disposal of the items we use or the ingredients we use in cooking the food so the food will not be harmed to the humans which is the incident from the Rodan's dinner the caldereta was found a there was found a plastic in it. So we need to know the proper disposal of use ingredients, the organization will maintain workplace or kitchen and the proper training of an employee. Now next is the HACCP system. Yeah. So this is our HACCP system. So number one is hazard analysis. So our hazard is contaminated food which is the caldereta. Identify the hazard. So we identify the hazard. So it's called bacillary dysentery. Number two, checking the quality of. So the hazard bacillary dysentery was listed as the uncooked food and some unnecessary items found in the food, which is 
found in the uh, incident that the Caldereta was seen or was caught on live that there was a plastic when the customer was eating on it. So number two principle is? Number two principle is checking the quality of the food and the ingredients that was used. Ensure proper cooking. So our number three is quality standards. Meet the safety standards, proper temperature, and proper food handling. Number four is trusted documentation, inspection of the food ingredients. So number five is investigating the case what caused. So that that case was caused by the plastic, ensuring that the food illness won't happen again. Number six is verification. Conducting a proper implementation to ensure the procedures and operate the plan. Validations of the food. Number seven is record keeping. Ensuring the recorded information product description, hazard analysis, and the hazard team. So here in the quality standards, for in order to meet the recommendations in the or the feedbacks by the customers, we need to know the safety standards or the safety rules we're in to know the proper guidelines in way to to know the like the proper food handling or proper temperature which is the span 60 Fahrenheit. Yeah then the number four principle is this is the monitoring CCP which is the trusted documentation inspections of the food ingredients. We need the trusted documentation of the food to know the to know that to ensure to customers that this is safe and for us employee will meet the needs of a customers. Number five, corrective actions. Investigating the case what caused the plastic and ensuring that the food illness won't happen again. So verification. Verification are used to to ensure that the procedures are being are being used the way that it made and to validate the food. So number seven is record keeping to ensure that we record all all the things that may happen inside our workplace and to avoid our hazards. And uh, number seven is also listed or known as the principle one to six, which is as HACIT team conducted this investigation through research and knowing the information or details about it. So we have here a quote, business opportunities are like buses, there's always another one coming. So in case there's a case that made your business or restaurant worse or got from feedback, feedbacks or went from limits, always remember that there's an opportunity again for you to grow and know what's the proper guidance in presenting a good business or restaurant. That's all. Thank you for listening. This is Group 8. I am John Benedict Chiesiela and this is Gab Rialta Pespisa. We have Adrian Santua and Jim Lim and Marielle Cañete. That's all. Thank you for listening.